Welcome back to our Med Smarter Lecture Series, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. Let's continue on and discuss the immune system, uh, specifically the different types of immunity that our body has. We have two different types. We have the innate immunity and we have adaptive immunity. All right, so let's talk about in this particular chart the components, the mechanism, and the resistance of the two different types of immune systems and how they work in conjunction with each other as well as separately from each other. So the components of our immune system in the innate immunity are all of the cells that the body produces uh, naturally that don't have any specificity. So the neutrophils, macrophages, monocytes, dendritic cells, natural killer cells, uh, complement physical epithelial barriers, and secreted enzymes are all part of that innate immune system. Uh, everybody has, well, most everybody has these cells. Uh, we do have, obviously, the cases where people might be missing some portions of these cells, uh, but the general population, in general, has all of these cells within their body, and they all function uh, more or less the same way. The adaptive immune system, or adaptive immunity, is where we have that differentiation. And you will see everyone have a different immune system as far, a part of the adaptive immunity than uh, even someone in their own household. It's all based upon what they've been exposed to, what their body then creates uh, an immune system cells against. So the T cells, the B cells, and circulating antibodies are all part of the adaptive immunity. So how do we uh, get these in the body? Well, the innate immunity, like I said, is there all the time. It's encoded by the germline. Okay, So your neutrophils are encoded in your DNA, whereas the adaptive immunity is going to have many variations. Right? It goes through variations via that VDJ recombination. If you remember, VDJ is the variable joining and diversity gene segments, right? So what we're going to see here, we'll have recombination in humans that is going through the primary lymphoid organ, so bone marrow for all the B cells, thymus for the T cells, and it's a random order where it rearranges and causes different gene segments to uh, occur. As far as resistance goes, the innate immunity uh, has resistance that comes through generations. Okay, This doesn't change during an organism's lifetime because all of those cells are coded for by the germline. The adaptive immunity, however, because it does have that recombination that continuously occurs, microbial resistance isn't, inher isn't heritable. All right? So that means that an individual cannot have resistance passed on to them by someone above them in their genetic line. Let's continue on and discuss the response to pathogens, secreted proteins, and key features of pathogen recognition between these two different types of immunities. So the innate immunity uh, has non-specific response to pathogens. These will typically occur rapidly, and there is no memory. So if you are exposed to a particular pathogen, let's say E. coli, your innate immunity will respond non-specifically to E. coli. It will attack it with everything that it has and do that rapidly over the next minutes to hours, but it does not recognize and know that it was a certain particular pathogen and build up stronger resistance to it later in the future. That is in direct contrast to the adaptive immunity. The adaptive immunity is highly specific and as you are exposed to other pathogens over a period of time, it continues to be refined. So this develops over long periods. The memory response is faster and more robust. The innate immunity secretes lysozyme, complement, C-reactive protein, also known as CRP, defensins, and cytokines, whereas the adaptive immunity is your immunoglobulins. Think of IgG, IgA, IgM. Those are part of your adaptive immunity. And some key features between the two different uh, immune systems or immunity is uh, we have toll-like receptors with the innate immunity. Uh, and this is a pattern recognition where we see uh, receptors recognize pathogens and then lead it to our natural killing cells via the activation of uh, NFKB. We also have PAMPs uh, like LPS, 
liposomal polysaccharides. Uh, they're only found in gram-negative bacteria. And then flagellin um, and nucleic acids on bacteria and on viruses. On the other side of things in the adaptive immunity, uh, adaptive immunity has memory cells, okay? Those memory cells are activated B and T cells that gives us uh, previously encountered organisms stronger immunity, quicker immunity response. So if you have been in contact with a particular pathogen in the past, your body has recognized it, it has created some adaptive immune cells, T cells, B cells, antibodies, and it can recognize it for future encounters and strongly and quickly respond to those particular pathogens. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.